Hello friends! Today I have another Naokyo um, slash Makari Japan haul. This took such a long time to get here and I'm just truly so excited to open this because um, I just waited a really long time for this, uh, which like makes sense, right? There was Easter and stuff like that. And obviously stuff from Japan always has to go through customs, but oh my god! <laughs> I am um, um, weirdly extra excited too because I feel like I'm kind of like, I forgot kind of what's in here. The only thing that I remember that I'm very excited about is that, you know, in the past, my Naokyo hauls have been very much, let me get this out. In the past, my Naokyo hauls had very much just been Juhani. Um because that's kind of like how I started using um, Naokyo just to start my Juhani collection but obviously I have been um, you know collecting BTS more actively and I have also kind of started uh, collecting Pentagon more actively. So this order has Monster X and Juhani things, it has Pentagon things, it has BTS things um, and like that is just very exciting to me. But yeah, let me just get everything out and I'm going to take the tags off. So I have taken the tags off of everything. Uh, the Monster X uh, stuff is definitely still the most in this haul. Um, so I'm going to start with that as well. But I will have timestamps in the description linked to and you can kind of like see the chapters on the video as well so totally free to skip uh, to whatever part you're interested in but I'm just going to start with the monster egg stuff okay honestly I'm going to just open this huge chunk of photo cards first because I will tell you with my full chest that I do not remember buying a huge set like this I'm like what is happening um, I'm truly just like, I'm sure that there will be, um, doubles in here because I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like, I, sometimes there will be things where I have to go back and look at, like, what I bought on Makari, but, like, with this one, I'm truly just like, I absolutely do not remember buying such a big set, but feeling very blessed obviously this one i definitely already have do i or is this just a freebie in general because i think the one that i have looks different see <laughs> again this package was also just really in the mail for a super long time but i feel like now that i'm seeing all the cards i think i vaguely remember buying this and i remember that even though um i have a bunch of these already the prize for this full set was so good that I just truly thought that it was still worth it. Yeah, because I remember this one is one of the photo cards that I kind of found hard to find. Like, even the ones that I don't have yet, I'm usually just like, oh, I can probably find them for a better price or whatever. This one fully, I feel like I've never seen this one around. So when I saw it, I was like, let me just... um. Yeah, this one I have already as well. I'm pretty sure these ones I have. So this is just a full set that I bought from someone. But um, especially like the the um, Are You There um, cards, I do not have them yet. So super excited. Whatever I have double, I will probably um, trade or sell on my Instagram. I'm kind of starting to get into that. So you know, uh, you should definitely follow me on Instagram um, because I will definitely be trading a little bit more and selling stuff a little bit more. So definitely look out for that. Okay, then I have these two, um, two Tukum cards uh, that I feel like are kind of hard to uh, come by as well. Uh, these are just so cute, especially this one. And I've kind of been starting to um, complete that set, so I'm feeling extra blessed. Um, and maybe in my next Naokyo haul, I will get more of these as well. But these are so cute. I cannot wait to put these in my binder. Also, just in case you're wondering if you're like a frequent viewer of my channel, I'm sorry I sound a little bit hoarse. <laughs> I had to... Um, I, I sometimes will work by um, really loud machines at work. 
and that is what happened uh, this week. I had to work by a really loud machine while um, having to out loud read uh, like words from a really, really, really long list to my colleague. And um, you can, uh, I, I'm, I can feel that. <laughs> um, then I have two uh, Japanese photo cards. Um, this one is definitely Hero. I know that this one is Hero. Um, but oh, on this one, of course, it says as well. I don't think that it, it does on this one as well. And this is from Beautiful. So very excited to add these to my collection of uh, Japanese photo cards. Uh, especially because obviously my Juhani binder is out of all of my binders. The most like put together where I have made a lot of spaces for things as well. Um, so, you know, I already know that they like have a place. Um... Okay, I cannot, you know, read Japanese, but this is cute either way. <laughs> this is, oh my God, wow. Finally, I'm like naturally remembering something, but I remember buying this because this is the um, G Market pre-order benefit from the Common Fiesta photo books. This one is just so, so cute as well. And I have the other photo cards, like the normal photo cards from those photo books. So I was very happy to get the G Market benefit. This is so cute. Is this an actually decorated? No, I thought, oh my, I was like, is it a decorated like top loader? Or I guess it's a, they probably, they they are probably not called side loader. Um, Oh my God. Wait, I, did, I just saw the flowers. I didn't even realize this. This is very cute. But I really thought it was like decoration on the um, uh, thing itself. But this is a Johannes All About Love photo card and the group photo card as well. These are the ones that came with the um, non-member uh, specific versions. There is the ones where, you know, their pictures are. I have the one I on, oh, I called that one time um, as well. And that came with a group photo card, but that was a different one than this one. And then the other versions came with a member card and a group photo card. Um, or maybe they came with either. Like they, they, I don't, I don't know if every album had a group card actually. But yeah, uh, I of course wanted this for my collection as well. Always, always, always love Juhani with the blue hair. Um, oh, that has a different back as well. That's going to look nice in my binder. I'm excited. Okay, and then this is um, Juhani's photo card from um, a season's greetings. I'm trying to think. Uh, so this year was 2021. Last year was 2020. 2020. 2019. I think this is the 2018 season's greetings. I'm not sure. I just know this is one of, from one of the season's greetings. Um, and I, I think this is such a beautiful photo card. Um, another one where I'm just so happy to have this as part of my collection. Um, but again, I'm not exactly sure which season's greetings this is from. Uh, and then I have the like a set with things from the uh, Tony Moly lip tint. Um, I don't know, like collaboration ad, whatever. Uh, how do I'm, I can't think of the word uh, that Monster X did. Uh, so I have these two postcards, absolutely gorgeous. And then this transparent card that is so, so pretty as well. Um, I feel like this is something like, I feel like this was one of the first things that I kind of saw of Juhani once I kind of started getting into collecting. I was like, oh my God, what is that card? I want that card so bad. Um, and I'm so like, there's something really full circle about finally having this in my uh, collection. Then I have a big set of um, stuff from Fatal Love. Um, and this is definitely something that I know I have a whole bunch of duplicates. Uh, this came in this huge asset with a whole bunch of the um, message cards um, and the lenticulars. Um, see, like there are like 
three Juhani lenticulars in here. There are some of the normal um, photo cards. There are some of the message cards. These are normal album photo cards. And then this is the Kino and this is the um, G Market Benefit. It's double sided. Uh, this is the Kino, very, very gorgeous. Um, and basically, um, so yeah, this is all stuff that I already have. Um, and then these photos I still needed. Um, and then these photo cards I still needed. And they were, especially this one, was so hard to get. So when I saw this entire set for the price of just this i had seen just this card go for the prize um of this entire set so when i saw this and this uh and all these photos from fatal love as well i was like okay i'm just going to buy this full set so gorgeous oh wow and a group photo as well um do they have something oh Oh, they have pretty backs. Oh, we love that a lot. Um, yeah, so when I saw that full set, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one yet either. Um, <laughs> more of these like bookmarks as well. Again, I, I don't know. I don't really like buying stuff where I have like a whole bunch of duplicates. But this was just one of those things that I saw and I was like, oh my God. I, I, I just... I needed this card so bad. And honestly, I'm still checking Makari basically every day for Juhani stuff because there's just, um, I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm like approaching me completing the collection that I want of Juhani stuff. And this one, I really rarely come across. So I feel so blessed and I'm so glad that I did this. And definitely I will be... Um, trading or selling a whole bunch of um, Fatal Love stuff on um, my Instagram. Um, if you need anything still, uh, hit me up. You can always just like write to me on Twitter and stuff as well. If you like, you know, if I say like right now, oh, I, I have duplicates of this. I'm going to sell this um, and you need it. Just reach out to me on Twitter or Instagram as well um, because, you know, Obviously, I want to give um, a home to uh, these cards that I don't need in my collection because I already have them. And then I have some unit cards. I'm so excited. Um, oh, wow. With a golden back as well. Um, these are Fantasia unit cards. I had said this before because I'm Boo Boo the Fool. Um, I had said that I was not going to, for now, not going to get any unit cards. But then I ended up not being able to resist. Uh, I don't know if it's because like Fantasia is just um, like a comeback that means a lot to me because like I feel like that's the first time that I I don't know again like Monster X is such a name right but Fantasia that comeback I just love that song so much and I feel like that's what really opened um, me to actually you know standing them as I do now but I just truly couldn't resist and these are really such gorgeous backs um but yeah, I just got the set of unit cards and just feeling very blessed about this as well. I already have a space for these in my binder too. So we absolutely love to see it. And then I'm going to open this album real quick. Um, I'm, I'm going to try it and be quick. Uh, this came with a whole bunch of like extras. First and foremost, Juhani's lyric book, which gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Let's go through it quickly, quickly, quickly. I know. <laughs> um, I had definitely seen a flip through of um, this lyric book before. And that's how I knew I, I wanted this really bad because look at this man. Like... Oh my god. I love See You Again so much. Okay. That was the lyric book. We have this uh, group, I don't know, postcard, I guess. Um, I honestly almost th think that maybe Follow is 
one of my favorite um, Monster X albums. I think my number one is still All About Love. Um, but I don't know. I just, I love Disaster. Like, Disaster is one of my favorite tracks. I love Follow. Uh, I love See You Again. I just, I just, I don't know. I, I think this album uh, could definitely be one of my favorite Monster X albums as well. And then this came with a whole bunch of stuff too. Um, this is the photo card. I'm trying to think. Um... Does it say which version this is? Oh, 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 oh no, the CD is falling out. Um, this is version th uh, 4. Um, I am not sure if this is also the version 4 um, photo card or if this came with a different photo card. But um, this is also the XID card. So I have both of those. Then I have like this standee, I guess. That's probably just going to end up in my binder and this postcard i don't think i'm going to flip through i'm going to flip through this i was going to say i'm not going to do it i think i've seen it before but um actually i don't think i have oh my god i love this already that's the softest concept ever are you kidding me no Oh my god, now I'm like, are they going to put, if they put Wonho with purple hair and Juhani with the blue hair together, I will scream. Oh, I guess they're not. I love this. This is like such a, I, I mean, it's obviously the lighting, but I like this hair color a lot because I feel like it has really nice shades and different lights. This is such a perfect... Oh no, that's so cute. This is such a perfect concept. Like, the softest concept. Like, look at Minyak. <sighs> look at Juhani. Oh. I will give him the world. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, okay. I think that was quick. Here's the city that already fell out. Um, and I like that it comes in this uh in this thingy as well. I don't know. I just really love this album. And I just like the design of it and stuff too. And I can't wait to put this album on my shelves as well. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot. <laughs> um this uh Juhani stuff as well. This is from another season's greetings. Um 2019 season's greetings yay it actually says on there so i'm thinking that the photo card that i showed earlier is from the 2018 season's greetings um but these are so gorgeous once again just incredibly excited to have this as part of my collection okay let me actually move on to pentagon stuff um i am going to quickly just start with the photo cards this is one of kino's black uh hall cards um, I feel like at this point I should know which back is which version, but I don't. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. But basically, I have decided, well, when I bought these, I was fully under the impression that I was just going to collect Hui and Kino for the Black Hall. Um, and then since then, I have fully spiraled into um, basically collecting uh, Kino and Hui for um, every album and also Dawn. <laughs> so things have changed since I bought these. This is one of my favorite photo cards ever. Um, but yeah, I'm also giggling because the way this is a full... Um, album set basically oh i forgot i forgot this came um in there as well this just came as a set i still don't have my with albums so i always try not to buy with stuff but sometimes it just comes in sets like this kino with card <laughs> i'm not complaining um but yeah um i'm just i'm laughing because i have two glossy ones from each version of kino uh, and then I have two matte ones from each version. Who is? And I'm just like, wow, this is a full album set. <laughs> but yeah, I have these photo cards. And again, I am now like a full clown collecting um, all of Hui's 
and Kino's um, album inclusions. Well, not all of the album inclusions, um, probably, but definitely trying to collect all like the normal size PCs um, of Hui and Kino. And I'm just giggling at myself and thinking back to when I bought those and I was like, oh, I'm just going to do that because, you know, the black hole means a lot to me because that was my first um, comeback as universe. Well, okay. So excited to have another album in my Pentagon collection. This looks like in pristine condition. I'm like, hello. Um, this is just so cool. I'm going to do, again, going to try and do a quick flip through. Um, I mean, they're all gorgeous. Oh, wow. Why does he, like, why does, okay. Listen, I'm not saying this because Jeno is short, but I'm like, that's full Hobbit vibes for me with like the setting and everything, like this little bridge in the background too. Okay. Here we have the inclusions. These are Kino's inclusions. The photo card. That is so fun. And the postcard, I guess. We should look. Oh, wow. Um, and yeah, when I saw that someone was selling this album with the inclusions, with Kino's inclusions, I was like, okay, that is my chance. Very, very gorgeous. I mean... I love, honestly, I think that like this Hong Sok um, hair color, I, I want to come back. <laughs> gorgeous. These are so gorgeous. And here comes Yenan just blowing me away always oh no oh my god no these unit photos are perfect oh. no you're actually kidding me Oh my god. Chang'e with blonde hair is just so perfect too. Oh, this is such a perfect like... <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I always see his photo card as well. And I'm just like, the photo card um, for Summer, like Wusuk's photo card for Summer is so cute as well. And I'm just like, I, I just... Listen, I'm telling you all, like, if I could, I would just collect every member photo card for every album because I just, they're all just so gorgeous. And I just know that if I ever start, like, doing that, if I'm just like, no, this photo card is so pretty, I just want that, that is going to be my, like, that's going to be the, the, the most slippery slope ever. And I'm like, I just, I just can't do that. Like, I mean, see what happened when I was trying to just collect Hui and Kino for the Black Hall. You know, like, it's all... I was already thinking of getting some of Hong Sok's and um, Changu's Look or Take pre-order stuff. And I'm just like, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Pentagon collecting is the most slippery slope for me, honestly. And there is the CD with the most perfect unit as well so cute okay that is that also i love like the reflective like elements on this cd finally i'm going to look at the bts stuff um this is you know for today just very small but my next nail Kyo haul this is where you can tell again me starting to collect things is a slippery slope because um after just having these two things um my next neo Kyo haul is going to be so filled with so many bts things um okay before i open this let me say that i know for a fact that this is not official you do not need to um call that out in the comment section 
but this is Tay's entire set of the fifth um, Magic Shop photo cards. And again, I know that this is not official, um, but I got these for such a good price. And honestly, if you have ever seen anybody sell this set, it is so expensive. And I, I just, I just, it's just a lot, but I love this set so much. I think this is such a gorgeous set and I just knew that I wanted it in my collection. So I honestly think apart from like, you can tell, you know, from the like texture that these are fake, but I honestly think everything else when it comes to quality, these do not look um, worse than like official um fifth master uh photo cards and i honestly even think that a lot of people who who don't like look out for this um i don't even think that they could tell i'm just going to put this in my binder um because i just again think this is such a gorgeous set um like the backs look amazing too like i am honestly like i'm like wow i'm like actually impressed with this <laughs> um but yeah, I just I just knew that I wanted um, this set as part of my collection. But I don't really think that this would have ever been part of my collection if I had tried to get an official set of it. So I am honestly so very happy. Um, and obviously, like, you never know how it's actually going to look in real life, right? Like, this could have looked absolutely terrible. But I'm very, very happy with this. I feel... Um, more than okay to put this in my binder um, and I know that I want Jimin's fifth master set as well and I think I'm just going to get unofficial ones for that too if I can find them for a good price sometimes people are trying to sell unofficial ones for horrendous prices and I'm just like no 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 but um, yeah I, I think that if I want a fifth master collection I think I'm just going to go with unofficial ones and I'm totally okay with that um and I don't really need your opinion on that um <laughs> but no I, I I mean I don't think anybody is going to be like you know I just I just knew that people would probably if I didn't say anything about it people would probably be like oh you bought fakes and I'm like yeah yeah I know I know um but again I think that they look amazing and I think especially like <laughs> Honestly, once they're in the binder, you can't tell the texture difference. So I'm like, I don't know. I am so happy with this purchase, honestly. Okay, but then I do have something official. And that is Hobie's entire set of the um, Speak Yourself Japan uh, tour. And I love these so much. Um, this is a set that I've kind of been like actively collecting um, as well. I'm not yet sure how much I'm going to collect. It's always a little bit like depends right on what you can get but i definitely have some of jimin's cards coming some of yungi's cards coming some of tay's cards coming um but i have hobie's full set um so i'm super excited about that these are out of order that's fine three out of eight this is four out of eight gorgeous uh eight out of eight i couldn't read that for a second because of the lighting uh one out of eight seven out of eight six out of eight five out of eight and two out of eight that is his entire set um i think again this is such such a gorgeous set um for all the members um is one of those uh, sets that makes it especially hard not to collect ot7 um but I'm just very, very happy to own Hobie's entire set for this. Okay, friends, that is my entire Naokyo haul for today. I think this is my biggest Naokyo haul to date. Um, but I feel so happy. Um, you know, obviously another huge step in my Juhani collection. Um, a big step forward uh, in my Pentagon collection as well. And like... You know, all my mail hauls that you have seen where I opened Pentagon stuff, that was like all inspired by me buying these black haul cards and all my BTS um 
like mail halls that you have seen a lot of the stuff that you will see there was kind of like inspired by those first couple of things that i bought on naokio as well like <laughs> I mean, it's a curse and a blessing, am I right? <laughs> but no, 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 I truly, I, like, I can't, this is I'm fully joking. Obviously, this is the biggest blessing, um, but it's also obviously a very slippery slope. Um, but I am so excited for these three collections uh, to grow. These are obviously, like, the collections that... Um, I'm working on. These are three out of the four groups that I stand. Um, the only reason TXT is not included in here and I don't have anything of my TXT biases is because I just haven't really started collecting um, TXT in general. That is an adventure that I will go on, but um, that I had just kind of, you know, I, I was like, this is all a lot. Let me take that slow before I get into that too. But, um, yeah, this just feels really cool to have all this stuff of all these um, uh, idols that I just really, really love. And I just hope that you enjoyed this Naokio haul. Um, I have another Naokio haul coming relatively soon because, again, this one took a long while. And the other one I am actually shipping with FedEx this time. So that one will be here super soon. Um, so you might see that next um, and then some binder updating videos, but I obviously also still have my Pentagon videos coming. There's, you know, a mail haul already accumulating. So who even, who even knows? But a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of collection content um, coming up and I just hope that you enjoy. And yeah, as I said, please check out my Instagram, uh, especially if you're interested in some of the stuff that I mentioned that I would be trading or selling. But I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you are having an amazing day and I will see you very, very soon with a new video. Bye! <laughs>